Yo, this is the news, man. And I'm back at y'all with another one, man. I appreciate all y'all love support. Thanks for all y'all. Bear with me, man, while I was in um YouTube jail, man. But I'm out. And um we back down. I'm going live tonight at 9 o'clock. So make sure y'all there. Today's story is about no other than an outstanding member who was an outstanding member. Um, Yomo. One of the most feared guys who I ever seen most feared. Like, everybody was scared of this dude. This dude, then, like, I'm going to tell y'all a couple of stories about him. But first, Yomo come from D-Town. D-Town known as Taytown. Um, You got OTF, Didi, Dirk Best Friend. You got um, Murder. You got, um, who else you got over there? You got Pootie LaFleur who rap. You know, that's just some of the names who rap. That's, the, that's his block. That's where Yomo from. But Yomo, you know, he put he made his bones putting his work over there all through Inglewood and stuff. Everybody knew him. You know, people like Vail, Skin, they like shit like that. Like a lot of, like we be glorifying Vine them and and a lot of people. But these people can't compare to these people who I'm talking about now. Like they is Mr. Minutes compared to them. Yomo. He was a board member, but he took matters in his own hands. Like, he wasn't waiting on nobody to violate you. He was coming to violate you, baseball bat, sludge hammer, whatever he needed, to, to whatever he felt like he needed to do. Now, may I imagine you, I'm telling you these stories about Yomo, but wait a minute. I'm going to tell you all the story, so just bear with me. He did torturing. Like, give people short drugs and then come back and spin on them. You know, you had to be alert. You had to be alert, yo, mo. Like, I had a lot of homies, man, who were serving for him. And then uh, the bags would be short. Now, these guys, everybody knew him. And they'll be like, man, this is a standing nigga, man. Why is it always short when he give you the bundle? You know, that was the type of guy he was. Um, Before the building got raided, one of my homies, they from the Calumet building, you know, a uh, person threw some bundles out the window. A female threw some bundles out the window. They thought the law was hitting the building. So she threw the bundles out the window, but the law wasn't hitting the building. So my homie picked him up. He walked on the tray, got to dumping them off. We 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 helping each other get this shit off. We trying to knock it off fast. Yomo slide up there. Yomo and a couple more henchmen. They slide up there. They check it out, shorty. He come over there to the car. They say, man, somebody seen you pick up the security, seen you pick up the, what's the name? He said S, but S is security. So he said S, seen you pick up that um that bag that got dropped out that window. My homie said no. But folks now I'm on the tray, they was they was so scared of him that folks, um they they told him, like, man, he was serving. He been up here serving all the customers. So Yomo told him to ride with him. Man, I'm talking about when my homie came back, bro. My homie came back with a bank roll. And he came back with his arm damn near gone. His hand damn near gone. I asked my homie what happened, bro. My homie hand was bent up, like, bent up, bro, like a chicken wing. I said, what happened, bro? He said he put my hand on the table with a sludge hammer. I said, God damn, that's vicious. Now, y'all know about all the money with the twins, them buying a radio station, them buying restaurants, um, 300,000 days being estimated. You know, I'm about the feds of them making this eight balls for $40. You know what I'm saying? Shit like that. It always got to be a muscle. It always got to be somebody behind them who everybody's scared of. And that was your mo. That was your mo. He had, he had all the respect. He had all the respect. He lived a lavish life, made backs, all that. Like, I seen them boys ball. Like, when the Twins was balling, it was other people balling. It was a lot of people. Twins then was just the, the, the stunner parts of the shit. You know what I'm saying? It was a lot of people who had money, who, was, who had money that you would never know about. Yomo, when the, when, when he, when the buildings was, when the building got raided and everybody went down, you know, first they got the twins now. They got the twins now with the indictment. And once they got the twins now with the indictment, they had brought out another indictment. That was just for the drugs. They brought a superseding indictment, which covered the murders, which covered the, the, the criminal enterprise, the, the, other, the other criminal activities. 
You know, so they grabbed everybody. Everybody went down. A lot of some people, some people took their time, but half of them, they 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 cooperated. You know what I'm saying? They they cooperated. However you want to look at it, they cooperated. When we see the old block case, when we look at the old block and all that, and I be seeing a lot of fans be like, oh man, they solid. Man, they ain't gonna tell. Oh man, they man, let me tell you something, bro. I seen some of the toughest gangsters, murderers. I'm talking about they, when they when they when they think about their life, they tell. They tell what they got to tell, bro, to get out that jam. Yo Mo is out. Yo Mo told. He told on all emergency people he killed. He told on folks them who what they did. You know what I'm saying? And he ended up getting his sentence reduced due to a, a new law. So he back out now. You know what I'm saying? Most of them back out. You know, he was good friends with Melly Daddy, 051 Melly Daddy, Fido, you know, he came up under people like that, you know, vicious people who are real vicious. So that's what Yomo, Marvell loved Yomo for because Yomo was the muscle, a 